Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thanks for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, you know who we're going to be talking about. That's Travis Scott and Kylie Jenner and their big girl Stormy. Things like uh, Kylie is taking a play. Well, she's looking at Beyonce's playbook and taking a page out of it on how to patent your daughter's name. Mm -hmm. Now, we got an article that was given to us by The Sun, thesun.com, and a staff writer by the name of Casey wrote the article out. She titled it, Out of This World, Kylie Jenner Files New Trademarks for Daughter's Stony World Brand as Storm, I'm sorry, as Star, uh, continues to snub newborn son. All right. It's a story here. It's a story here. I wouldn't have brought it to you. Okay. The entertainment world is always changing minute by minute of each day. Okay. But going on into the article, it says Kylie Jenner has now filed three new trademarks for her daughter's growing Stormy World brand. The Sun can exclusively reveal the Kardashian star first filed for Stormy World to be trademarked shortly after her daughter's first birthday in 2019 and now has still not announced her son's official name nearly seven months after his birth. Go figure, go figure, go figure. Holly Jenner filed three patent or trademark for Stormy World. A story is four. First had a trademark file for her name in 2019 when she had barely turned one. Okay. Kylie 25 filed three new trademarks for Stormy, Stormy's World on August 24th of this year after not touching the same since February 2019. The first of the three trademarks is for advertising and endorsement services to promote the goods and services of others. It's also described retail store services, including gifts, general consumer merchandise, apparel, apparel accessories, toys, sporting goods, beauty products, cosmetics, skin care, and fragrances. In the second trademark file for Stormy's World, it details toy figures, doll accessories, dolls, drawing toys, infant toys, mechanical, action toys, electronic action toys, play sets for action figures, and soft sculpture toy. Pretty much she have figured it all out. As far as Christmas time and stuff, she don't want nobody doing anything with her daughter's name. Does that not sound familiar? Does that not sound familiar? Okay. The extensive list contains women. The extensive list continues on including bath toys, puzzles, party games, toys, or jewelry, brats for games, puppets, handheld units for playing electronic games, children's educational toys for developing, fine motor skills and cotton skills, music toys, food toy, cookware, toy cameras, baby gems, playgrounds, balls, and sport balls. Finally, Stormy's World third trademark includes clothing such as coats, dresses, footwear, headwear, Jackets, jumpers, loungewear, rompers, scarves, shirts, sweaters, undergarments, socks, hosiery, swimwear, cloth bibs, gloves, sleepwear, one-piece garment for infants, and toddlers and costumes for use in children's dress-up play. Stormy's potential budding business empires have been long underway. However, first... Kylie ensures her daughter's had a trademark on both her names and for Stormy, whereas the toddler has hardly even turned one years old. The trademark filed for um, Stormy now 
four back in 2019, including the same descriptions, although three years later, fans have yet to see a product or service produced from the trademark. Or she ain't trying to do like Beyonce and Ivy when Beyonce was fighting with that girl uh, that had blue ivy already, but it was for, I think, wedding, some type of wedding situation, wedding clothes, garments, and all that stuff. And, you know, Beyonce waited, 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 paid a hell of a lot of money uh, to get the name traded in her daughter's name. But they uh, didn't do it quick, fast, and hurry. It was a long time. It's drawn out for a while, but she did secure it. I don't know what year. It could have been three years ago. But we know Blue Ivy, uh, Blue Ivy Park and Blue Ivy, all this trademark, where she can make money now and later on. And it seems like Kylie has taken a page out of her playbook on how to do it professionally. Okay. Meanwhile, as Kylie is setting Stormy up to grow into her multi-million dollar empire, the star has entirely snubbed setting up a business path for her newborn son. Although the boys are approaching seven months, fans still do not even know the baby's official name since Kylie changed it from Wolf. Why the heck? See, that's what I'm saying. They're going to have to definitely be working, be entrepreneurs, because going out in the real world, which we live in, everyday normal, uh, Joe people, Jane people, uh, we can't be naming ourselves crazy names like that. Because uh, who's going to hire us? You think somebody's going to come out there uh, and say, uh, Wolf, uh, Scott, Wolf, Scott? <laughs> Not professional at all. But like I said, you can name your your child Christmas tree if you want to. Especially if they got their own business. They ain't going to be worried about anybody uh, calling, them, calling them or them actually uh, looking at one ass. Okay? Not in this world. At least I can't foresee it. So, yeah. Now you can name your uh, child Bridgewalk. You know what I'm saying? South Fork. Doesn't matter. Because they're going to have nicknames or anything of that nature. But I guess this is the way the rich and famous get down and name their children. Very unique, um, phenomenal names where they could get away with it in their world. But we couldn't get away with it without a lot of harassment and about a lot of people saying, this is not professional. This is not a name you should be using, you know, to put on your social security card, this, that, and the other, Okay. Only big shot people, how my mom used to say, could get their names ridiculously named and stamped and, and put down on social security cards on paper where they can actually, uh, you can actually use it when you go to the doctor's office, when you go buy for a credit card. This is what you want your name to be, and that's who you are. Okay, but every day, like I say, everyday normal folks, we can't get away with that so much without having a hassle about it. Um, then it says, meanwhile, go ahead. Although the boy, oh no, okay. No trademarks have been filed for Kylie's son. Where's baby boy? Kylie has uh, likewise been slammed for excluding her newborn from a recent Kylie baby advertisement photo. But I don't know, maybe she is probably waiting, um, waiting some social media outlet out on far as paying for those pictures and privilege to see their child and introduce that child on their platform to the world, to the masses. So maybe she hadn't got her correct amount of money she wants for that to happen. And that's why she is secluding her son. But hell, we didn't see Rihanna uh child yet, have we? So I guess whenever they feel like or they get the first uh offer that they really want for that uh information to be exposed to the masses, they'll wait it out. Okay. But anyway, on Wednesday, the brand's official Instagram released a new picture to promote the baby care line launching in the UK. In the ad, Kylie sat on a cloud as Stormy sat wrapped in a baby blue robe on her mother's lap. However, fans were frustrated to see Kylie had snubbed her son from that ad by excluding him from the shoot. One fan asked in Kylie's cosmetics Instagram comments, where is the baby boy? Okay, that's right. No, we're going to get impatient. Us everyday, normal, hardworking people, we're going to get impatient, especially if we called ourselves supporting you, being on your social media pro uh, platforms, dialoguing with you from here and there, and then you won't even give us a snippet of the baby. Hey, your fans can turn into your enemies real, real quick. Hopefully, Kylie knows this. But anyway, moving on. It says, next generation, the entire car generation. 
plan has been following Kylie's footsteps and the son previously reported on the Kardashian family's big plans for their kids to take over their $3 billion empire. Okay, so <laughs> you're going to wait on that. Oh, Lord, you better make sure those children on deck and they um won't bankrupt you because basically when they get old enough to handle these businesses that y'all are trying to leave them, hopefully y'all got some money on the side on how you want to live your life out because you're depending on them sure that they never worked a day in their life. Child, one of them going to be a mess. They're going to be doing any and everything and burning through their money like it ain't nobody's business because guess what? They didn't do anything to get it. So why should they have a vested <laughs> a vested uh issue or concern on what happens with the company or not? They may not even want to run the damn company. They may want to do something professional, like being a lawyer, a doctor, um, a artist, uh, as far as painting. You know, we don't know what our kids want to be until they uh really have a growth and uh, mindset to tell us, okay? But it just is what it is. When you're in school, you don't say I want to be an entrepreneur. They be having like professional jobs, like I said, doctor, lawyer, teacher, preacher, um, and any other job I can't really think of now. But you know, they don't have entrepreneurship. Yeah, I mean, I never really was taught that until I got in high school, and they gave you a choice of where to think on what you wanted to be. But just growing up, those were just the normal to the trade that we had to uh, call ourselves catering to. Okay, we're going back to the article. It says, um, what's wrong with my phone? Plug it up. Okay, the Kardashian and Jenners are setting their children up to take over their empire as the stars have filed various trademarks for their children. Kim's children, North, Nine, Saint, Six, Chicago, Four, and Psalm 2, Rob's daughter, Dream 5, and Chloe's daughter, True, for all have the same trademarks as Stormy does for Stormy's World with their names on it. True also has a series of True and Kilo, Kilo trademarks filed in January of 2020. Okay, more covers uh, retail store services featuring gifts, apparels, apparel, social accessories, cosmetics, skin care, beauty products, oh, the whole gamut, y'all. Uh, they're just listing every patent that they're getting a trademark, all the things that will fall under there so nobody can ever come in and say, no, I had this first, no, you didn't, and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but they got it on everything from health care, not health care, but uh, well, uh, well-being care, I should say, like, you know, your uh, skin cleanses, your body scrubs, your body oils, you know, everything to support the body and um, the accessories that go with that. Okay, then it goes back and say, True also appears alongside her mom in Nortec commercials, which is a migraine medication, while Courtney's children, Mason 12 and Penelope 9 and Rain 7, do, do not have trademarks. Her lifestyle brand, Push, or Push, is uh, named as her daughter's nickname. Uh, the most po popular brand of the family Includes Kim Company Skims, Kylie's Kylie uh, Cosmetics, and Kylie Skin and Kylie Baby. Ah, women, Baby Cleo's, Good America, Kendall Jenner, A18 Tequila, Courtney's Push, and Rob's Arthur George. Getting to work. Um, most recently, Kim filed more trademarks for Chicago and Saint to launch skincare toy and fashion brands. Okay, the Sun previously reported Kim acquired the nine district trademarks for her two middle children only on July 26th of 2022. The skin services trademarks cover ooh, the whole gamut of all that. They cover the toys and every which way you want to look at it. The clothing for children. Um, the trademark for advertising services and earmarks to promote the above various products among other endorsement services. Interestingly, Chicago has an additional trademark which it appears Kim did not attempt to acquire for Saint. Chicago's fifth filing is listed as entertainment and a natural providing information by means of global communicator, global co computer network in the fields of entertainment, 
and pop culture, entertainment services, and blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's just a hot mess. She's pretty much trying to do like her other sisters have done before, trademark her baby's name here, there, and everywhere, okay? Globally, internationally. So her child don't have to work for nothing either. Just wake up once in a while, wake them up, and then they go about their day how they see fit. Probably don't have a planner. Just going on the, uh, what do you call it? On their own recognizances <laughs> and showing up when they feel like it pretty much because they are the face of their products, okay? It's their business. So if they want to work from home, like roll right off of the bed, roll out of the bed onto the computer, do a Zoom call uh, where, you know, they're only showing like uh, head up or whatever. So you can't tell whether they're in their night clothes or not or what is going on or they're very naked. So when you have a family that had been doing well and they're passing down that general generational wealth to you, uh, it's your job to make sure it keeps going on and on and on and on. So they'll be called old money, not new money. So, I mean, if anybody just or it, the majority of humans on this earth decided they didn't want all these skin products, they just want to go old and natural. They don't want no perfumes and added, you know, uh, derivatives into their makeup of what product they're using. I guess a lot of them Kardashians will be through, and you know, people just didn't want to buy toys anymore. You know, the toy market would be bankrupt, and it will affect them as well. But we are everyday people. We are true to our devices on what we love, what we're going to partake of, and what we're going to buy for ourselves. And it seems like the Kardashian Jenner clan has got it sold up, lock, stock, and barrel. But that's cute, cute, cute. Love a daughter. I don't understand why they love they sell some black men. And I mean, that's every last one of them. Okay? And ask Chloe, ask Kim, and then ask Ivy. All right? And I think, shoot, what's the other child's name? Robot? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But um, I have to think about it on the next video. Cannot remember at this time, but if anybody want to put it down there, what's who's the other? I mean, we we ain't talking about Courtney because we know she got her old brood. Is that all of them? Kylie, Courtney, Chloe, him. Do we have anybody else, y'all? Ah, but that was a cute. And then they have the rainbow colors for the gays. All right, that's cute enough. But uh, those are primary colors also when you're in elementary. But they both look so cute together. Stormy is a really beautiful young girl. So Travis was a part of that makeup for that creation of that beautiful baby girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please. But anyway, that's all we got for this video. We ain't got no more. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.